Hello everyone. I wanted to um, share a flip through of my Magpie uh, Nest journal. I am not completely done with it, but at this point, I'm at a stopping point where I have embellished enough so that I can later on finish the pages um, at my own leisure because uh, a book this size is very hard to embellish all at once. So I um, just wanted to share um, a little flip through of this. See if you recall last time I added the wings and a little um, little metal that says your wings were uh, ready but my heart was not and I shared a little bit about that um, I really enjoy making this uh, this cover it is weaved with so many different um, so much texture ribbons um, yarn um, some bling that I found and um, a lot of stuff that I found that um, I wanted to make it look like a nest, kind of like Amy had taught us how to, how to do, or to pursue that look as best as we could. And so this is my version of that. So let me take you um, quickly through this uh, flip through. So um, my first page. So you can see here all my stitches that I have done on the other side will show on the back side here. Um, I have since uh, embellished this page where I use some sick, uh, black sequins. How do you say that? Sequins? Um, in, on, the, on his feathers, on the magpie's feathers. I also just added this little journal uh, piece that I had found in my, my little bits and bobs. And I thought, well, I'll just add it to it. So there it is. I added a little bit of blue because the magpies have some hints of blue in their uh, feathers. So uh, the other day, um, me and my daughter went to a quilt shop and we found a lot of, or I found a lot of fabric that was black and white. And that's where you get to see like some of these little dots here this here so as I flip through the journal you'll be able to see there's a lot of black and white fabrics as part as of the um, of the pages so just uh, uh, this here uh, this writing here is actually a poem I found about the magpies and it goes across two pages but you can only see one and I did this with a ruling pen Okay. And this is the nest that I made that day on the other video. And um, this is a skin that I did with an image transfer. And all I did here was just uh, added with some stitching of a magpie. And this is a different type of magpie, but um, I thought he was cute. I kind of destroyed him a little, but so be it. He's part of my book now. Um, I found some black netting, which is kind of weird. I've never really used it for this purpose, but here it is in my journal. A lot of black and white using the techniques that Amy taught us how to do. There's more black um, vase here. I still plan to add with a white posca pen um, some writing in this black gesso spots that I have here. With a, um, and let me proceed. This is actually from a fabric that I had found at Joanne's a while back, and I had had it in my stash and I had never even used it. But I thought it was appropriate for here because it has some drawings, it has some trees. So I put a magpie right on top of the tree. And here you can see some of that fabric, black and white fabric. Uh, this piece here is from another class that I took with um, in the Jean Oliver Network where we did a lot of, of um, gesso and, um, and and this is actually a real plant that I had uh, I had glued and uh, gessoed onto that uh, paper. Okay, 
So we go proceed. Except there's a lot of blank pages, but I do plan to work on it later. And this is the other part of the magpie poem that I had found on the internet that I had wrote with a ruling pen. Uh, I had already shared this page, but this is a page that I uh, I decided to add. Goodness gracious, what just stuck? I decided to add some metallic gold thread that I had had for a while and I hadn't used. So my magpie that I had stamped got a little bit of um, outline in that metallic thread. And this here is, here is a little bird that I, it's, uh, this is the rust image from when I put him in vinegar. And um, I put it on paper and I just cut it and glued it there. And, uh, and if you followed me for a little while, you know that my faith is never too far away from me as far as my journals are concerned. So I added this from that same fabric that I had to trim over there, the bread of life. And um, I used some of the pretty yarn to make this. It's not even the right way to do that stitch, but I went ahead and put it on there because it's got that, that blue that I like for the magpie. So my, my stamp that I made from foam. Uh, I hope I'm not on. Okay, yeah. I'm hoping that I'm in frame and you can see these pages because I'm going to try to go not too slow. Um, this is from another project I found and I thought, well, magpies get on trees or they're green or kind of yellowish, so I put it there. Um, here's more of the black and white fabric that I just love because it is so um, and here to the best of my knowledge I try to draw a magpie magpie flying away yeah my good with birds and here in this page I had found this fabric that has a lot of writing on it in that same quilt shop and since it was on clearance I had to buy a whole yard of it so here I am I told my daughter I gotta have it. She goes, you really do? Yeah, I do. I gotta have it. I don't know why, but I like it. So I put it here. And diario in Spanish means diary in English. So I thought a good mat pie that is worth its salt would have a diary. So I put that here and you can flip it here. I plan to maybe put some, um, either write with a white pen or, um, or put some white gesso and write with black. So. It's just more pages of the same. One uh, thing that I do is that if I don't have enough to do the trim of a page, um, I will put little pieces of different types of whatever I find on my table. Um, little pieces of other trims. So like here's this one, this is one, this is one, and there's two others here. So they're all in the same family anyway, so they match. Here's a little bit more of that green that I told you guys that they get on trees, they need green. So more of the more of that writing on that the fabric that has the writing, the text. So it's done. I don't know if you've you guys have seen this trim, but it's kind of like little balls. Um the only problem is with the trim this small is that it's very hard to sew it on the sewing machine. So I first sewed it on this other type of strip of fabric and then I put it on here because I really love it. Um, I probably should use bigger ones, but that's what I had. That's what is going on there. Um, some of my lace that got rusted. I don't have a lot of fabric in here, but whatever it is, it's uh, meant to be there. A little more of that green fabric and my burnt holes of this page as we were taught in the class. Let me see if I have anything. So as I flip through here, you can see the, the fabric, the black and white fabrics coming through. And this is again from that other fabric that is about, um, it's a Christian, um, Christian fabric, uh, print and texted and all kinds of stuff about Jesus so I cut that up put it in here sewed it on there I may add some more stitching around here later 
I haven't written anything there, but I will, I'm sure. I love the sound of this, the crinkly sound of, the, of that paper. Here's more of the black and white fabric. And we're almost done here, guys. So, like I said, um, it's not that it's finished, but I'm at a stopping point because I have a, a million mother uh, irons in the fire, uh, as you may, as you may also have, and I need to move on and then come back to this journal later on. And as I have time, work on the pages like when I'm on a trip or something. But for now, it's got everything it needs for me to start just either embellishing more or adding uh, more information on the magpies but for now i think it's i would call it good so i thank you for being here with me and um, for allowing me to share this flip through with you thank you so much bye bye